Hey there guys, it's me Nakimbe and I just wanted to show you again the difference between the quality of apps developed by Maptum compared to the quality of apps um, of other developers. So here on my screen you can see that there are two Dream Diner apps. One was done by Maptum, one was done by another company and um, let's just take a look. I don't even know whose we should look first. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Okay. So this is how the app opens up. This is the initial screen. We see some food shots uh, scrolling. No, I thought I saw it change. Okay, so the kitchen's closed. Let's click on it right now. Okay, so the kitchen's closed. There's the address, phone number. We can click on the website. Um, yeah, again, that picture changed. I thought there were were more scrolling pictures but no um let's see rewards i think i have to log in for this okay so there's a loyalty program here connect so we can connect with um social media let's take a look at the menu so it looks like the menu just goes to uh their website Okay. 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 This is a restaurant, um, and this app developer didn't even bother to put any pictures of food. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that because we did go to the website. So, let's see. Let's go back. Um, anything else there? Nope. So we've got, uh, what do we have? Info, rewards, connect, and menus. Let's say join, wait. Okay, the kitchen is closed. Now, this is really ridiculous. This is kind of what I want to talk to you about with the thought, the logic, and the thought that goes behind um, the apps that Maptum develops. Because, first of all, I know this restaurant, and it's a diner, and it's never, ever full. There's never, like, a wait you know, it's not like it's an evening place, you know, where you're kind of waiting around for 20 minutes. It's not that kind of place. So this is an absolutely useless thing to have on this app. Um, my check, let's see what this is. Okay, so I would have to log in. So I don't have an account in this app, so I'm not going to bother to log in. However, it seems like, again, from a user perspective and that whole having a frictionless experience or really considering... UX, which is which stands for the user experience. I don't want to have to go into your app and then type in all of this information. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it only takes a second, but why the heck should I log in? Okay, let's see what else we have. An order. Okay, so I guess I can place my order and maybe pick it up. Um, again, as we saw from the menu, th these guys offer like eggs benedict and you know maybe we should just check why why don't i not guess why don't i just go and see what kind of food they have again i know but i'm doing this for demonstration purposes oh my goodness i'm clicking menu like a million times it's not even going oh there we go ha huh. all right back on the website come on come on come on i don't want to stay here too long because we've already kind of seen this but yeah okay so what do they have um Waffles, eggs, toast, and home fries. Um, let me see. Omelets, omelets, omelets. Now, I don't know about you. I know that these guys don't have an ordering system. But uh, would you want to order an omelet and take it home? Okay, classic diner sandwiches. Okay, you might want to place an order for some of these things. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so what I do know is that uh, if somebody comes in here and places an order, then it goes straight to their kitchen. Their kitchen prepares it, and I think you can probably pay yep, through my check. So that's pretty convenient if you're mainly going to use this app for ordering and um, maybe getting some rewards. Okay, so not bad from a utility perspective, but people get and download apps for more than utility. They want to have a good user experience and aesthetics are important. 
Okay, so let's get out of this and let's see a Mapdom app now. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, look at that. Right away, social connect. So even from a business perspective, um, do I want to do this right now? No, I don't. So forget it. But this app already offers the business user, the business user an opportunity to connect with them right when they get on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's skip this. Let's look at her. Look, look at the difference. Look at the colors. They're so vibrant. It's aesthetically pleasing. Um, you've got the uh, pictures with the scrolling screen, and you get information. Your your well, you have a drive up window. You can check in. You can view the menu. Uh, Dream Diner makes the best bennies anywhere. Excellent. Okay. Car hop. So we already get some information about their business. They have car hops on Saturdays from nine to one. Go in there for dessert. So you already get so much information just from the first opening screen. And I think that these links are clickable. Yep. So here are their hours and their location. If you want to get directions, you can do that. But I don't want to really make this a very long video. But you can see on the bottom, call it directions, email, website. Okay. Um, oh, look at this. And there's an opportunity for comments. Now, that is way better in an app because if your people come in and like, oh, my gosh, I loved your eggs, Benedict, or whatever, people can come and they like to engage. This is why people are on social media and on Twitter and on Instagram because they want to engage. They want to engage. And these guys, um, their app now has a fan wall where people can ask questions or say things. And, you know, so having an app with Maptim is better just for that reason because a part of the purpose of having an app is really you want to increase engagement and increase loyalty. And I'm sorry, but just because you offer, um, anyway, I'm not going to comment on that. Let's go back. What else do we have here? Uh, news. Okay. So we can see in this app, which we couldn't see in the other app, uh, what's going on in the business. Uh, and there's also information. Um, do eggs get a bad rap? News and events. If this takes a long time to load, I'm not going to bother. Okay, so she's got a little bit of a blog here that we've connected to. Can I go back? Yeah, so news and events. So again, you know, you're sitting there, you're in the app. It's useful. You know, people want to engage with apps, but you can read a couple things here. They've got the 50s party here on September 21st, 2015. Um, they were highlighted in a magazine in July of 2015. You know what I mean? So way better than the other app simply because you can have um you can have some news and events and let people know that you know you you do more than just offer food voice notes okay so this is really important again from a marketing perspective oh look at this graphic she has an old school diner they have you know bring in your car your old car shows on saturdays you don't get any of that information in the other app in any case, from a marketing perspective, you know, tell us what you love about Dream Diner and we might just feature you on our website. So that's really cool. Again, you're, you're, um, you can get engagement from people. And if you have live testimonials, like voice testimonials on your website, or you can even include that in your app, you can include voice testimonials in your app that people can listen to. So, you know, rather than that ugly, generic purple and white website, I mean, app that they had um you know now you she can collect she can collect uh she can collect voice testimonials oh my gosh mary beth your eggs were so amazing i love the atmosphere you're giving people experience you know you're you're having your it's experiential for them so they can get a little bit more excited and maybe be a little bit more invigorated oh yeah yeah you know what i think i'm gonna go to dream diner and get something to eat rather that other app doesn't do any of that. So, again, from a user, from a business perspective, Matt to Maps are just way better. I'm just sorry, but that is. Selfies! So here, what you do is use this feature to submit a photo to Dream Diner. We may add you to our Facebook page. So, again, look at the aesthetics of this. Look at these pictures. It's really, really good. It also, re it also has brand consistency. You remember when we went to the website? You couldn't even really tell the difference between if you were in the website or in the app just because the colors were the same, the fonts were the same. Again, quality, quality, quality product. Uh, whereas the other app, there's no brand consistency. 
that app looks nothing like her um her restaurant's branding or anything and you know, people may or may not realize how important that is it's a very subtle thing but you really want to create a seamless experience just even on a psychological perspective for your audience so anyway i'm getting off track but here it says send us a photo so what you can do is you can click on send us a photo you can take a photo which is really what you want no need to upload anything from the library so let's cancel that and again from a marketing perspective like if you're going to invest in an app you don't want to have an app just for the sake of having an app you want to use it for your benefit as well as for the benefit of the user so here, send us a photo and you have to be a mobile app ambassador at your store or your restaurant or, you know, whatever, so that you can really promote the app because there are so many opportunities for you to do better in your business. Like part of having an app is also about revenue generation and I'm not quite sure how the other app achieves that. Mm, I don't think it does. <laughs> anyway, so here you can say, hey, send us a photo. So if someone is at the table or they're eating or they're there for you know, a birthday celebration or something, because sometimes people go to restaurants, you know, for birthday celebrations or, you know, maybe like a soccer club after soccer practice or game or something like that. And they can take pictures. Now, no one's going to really just be in a restaurant and think to take a picture and send it to the restaurant. I'm like, who the hell's going to do that? But if you have an app and they're in your restaurant and they're there anyway and they're happy to say, hey, you know what? Why don't you guys take, because uh, people love selfies. Hello, like Facebook, Instagram, people love to take pictures of themselves. So you could, you know, the waitress or someone could say, hey, you know, happy birthday, wonderful. Would you do us a favor? Could you just take a picture and upload it for to our website for us, please? And I suppose you, the waiter or waitress, you know, can go and do it yourself and pull out your phone. Yeah, right. Not going to happen. <laughs> so... Again, uh, with our apps, people can take pictures and send them into the restaurant. And again, she can use that as marketing collateral. It could be part of her content strategy when, you know, updating pictures for Facebook. You're trying to think, oh my gosh, what am I going to post on Facebook today? You know, why don't you get information from your, why don't you get content and collateral, marketing collateral from your actual owners? So again, this is the difference between having an app from someone else and getting an app from Mapham. All right, let's go back here. Selfies, let's go to more. Okay, so tip calculator, great, wonderful. Dream stamp, so her whole loyalty program is here, you know, buy 10 whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah, collect some coupons and you get a free breakfast appetizer. Woohoo! With the other app, there's a loyalty program. Did you even know what you were getting? Was there any pictures of food? Were you incentivized at all whatsoever? Like, just really uh, oh wait a second there's some activity here what's that oh look at this look at this wow oh my goodness oh wow this is fantastic i didn't even realize she had so much activity on her app oh yeah so you can see people who are using you, you can see people who are using the loyalty program you can't really see that on the other app can you no you can't and what's fantastic about this is you can say yeah people love our loyalty program and you actually have evidence and proof because people are using it you can see the different types of people you have a community there's Paul and Zarita and Carrie Ann Monroe wonderful um, express drive through I'm not sure what this is <gasps> Remember before with the other app, they had a menu and you went and you couldn't even see pictures of the food? A restaurant app that doesn't have pictures of the food? Does that even make sense? Just ridiculous. I'm sorry. So impassioned. But anyway, here's her menu. Eggs Benedict, Your Style Eggs, Dream Omelette. You can actually see what it is you're ordering here. Let's see what happens when I click on it. Okay, so there's a little description. We didn't get a description with the other one, did we? Nope, we didn't. Comments. Look at this. Um, Ryan, the best eggs Benedict in town. He said that 11 months ago. And you know what? GM agreed. Do you have any recommendations? Again, it's like community, 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 and customer engagement. Like, oh my goodness. Like, what is the point of having an app? Because if an app is crap, <laughs> if you have a crappy app, people are going to delete it from their phones. Okay, let's see. See, yeah, more pictures. There were zero, nada, no pictures in the other app. Look at this. 
happy people, pictures of food. And yeah, I know the other app had probably a link to Instagram, but really, am I going to do that when everything is just in one place? Look at this. Absolute fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Takeout menu. Order now. Okay. So you can still order. You can order takeout or delivery. Choose items. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go back. <laughs> Let's see here. Reservations. I don't really think she takes reservations. I'm not quite sure why this is in the app. Uh, going to do anything? Oh, reservations. Okay. Yep. You can fill out your information. You couldn't do that in the other one, but you could, um, what was it? See how busy they were. So you don't have to wait in line or something like that. Join our newsletter. Again, marketing, capturing customer emails so that you can continue to market to them in the future with specials or, 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 or birthday incentives. Hey, it's your birthday. Come in, sign up for our newsletter. None of that opportunity was available in the other app. Am I being clear here? Like, and it's not like I'm, you know, tooting the horn of the company, but we're just really committed to excellence. We're committed to small business success. We're committed to you having better engagement, better marketing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And other apps do not do this. You will, I promise you, get the best app when you get an app from Map to Mobile Apps. Alrighty, yep, so here you go, an opportunity to sign up for her newsletter here, which you don't get in the other one. Check-in. I think that other app may have had check-ins. I'm not sure, but this is, again, a really great feature because, um, you know, you're letting people know, hey, I was a Dream Diner today, and that shows up in people's news feeds. I've had, like, there was one guy, and um, I was a little bit interested in him, and I noticed that you know, when I would go on Facebook, every Sunday he would be like checking into some church. I'm like, oh, look at that. He's a good church boy going boy. You know what I mean? But I knew the name of the church because it always showed up in the news feed. And um, I remember I was somewhere and I had checked in and I had gotten two WhatsApp messages from friends saying, hey, where are you? I saw that you checked in at, you know, so-and-so place. So people see when you check in, and if you check in there often, they're going to be, you know what, I should probably check out this Dream Diner place. Is that function available with that other crap app? Nope. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Do we have any comments? No comments on this page. Okay, but anyway, that allows you to check in, contact us. GPS coupons. Oh. This is such an unfortunate thing because with a GPS coupon, what you can do is you can set it up. You can have a little perimeter around your store. So if somebody has your app and happen to be passing by, they can disable it if it becomes annoying. But you can say, Z -Z 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 hey, I just noticed that you're in the area. Why don't you stop in for whatever, whatever? And you're like, you know what? I am hungry. I've been running around all day shopping, doing errands. You know what? I'm going to pop into Dream Diner and pick something up. If you don't have that ability on your app, like, how are you going to get extra business? I really just don't understand. You need to have an app for more than an app, and then she's got her takeout menu and a gift card and, you know, whatever. Anyway, so that is just, I just really quickly wanted to go over the difference between apps built by Maptom and apps built by other mobile app development companies, like those do-it-yourself ones or whatever, just absolutely ridiculous. There's another app that I'm going to do a video like this for later. But yeah, let's just go back to her other app. And you can com you can see the difference for yourself. Ugh. What is this? Oh, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Not even nice little stamps. What's that when I click on loyalty? How's this? Let me see how this works. Okay. So you can go to her Facebook page, but there's no... Oh, maybe you can check in. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, same thing. What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to quickly go over it.
We already went over this, all this extra steps that they're making me do and no opportunity to gather marketing collateral, no real engagement opportunities, no opportunities to see who else is going to the store and using stuff. I mean, a big difference. So you know what? Give Maptum a call. Give us a chance. Let us do a demo app for you. Um, and then we'll also develop a free marketing and promotion plan for you because we really do want you to succeed. We don't, and our, our prices are completely reasonable. We don't want you to cheap out and um, do something that's not going to be beneficial to your business later on. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for your time, folks. Come to Mapdom, M-A-P-P-D-O-M dot com, 1-866-826-1126. Catch us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, like us, follow us, share all of that good stuff. I appreciate you and your time so much. Thanks. Bye-bye.